Hey, what's up, everybody? This is part three of my review of Black Hound Scopenhawk. I forgot to mention I am Joel Stub 109. So, part three of this review, part one was Blackout, and part two was Scorponok. Part three is them in this weird combination form that's half cool, half weird, and half other stuff. But it's kind of cool. What you want to do with Scorponok, it's mainly him you change up. What I like to do is, um, for now, I just put his tail like that and just like that. Uh, I leave his arms down a little bit and his face down a little bit too. Once you have him like that, you want to take Black uh, just hanging out. He's got pegs right there, right there, right there, and he's got a hole right there. So, peg, peg, hole. And then on Scorponok, there's a hole, hole, peg. This po this peg, I forgot to mention, does rotate when you rotate the wheels. So what you want to do is uh, fit them somehow onto each other. Uh, this uh, hexagon shaped peg goes on this hexagon shaped hole right there, and then those pegs that and then that goes into here and there. So we gotta work them together. Come on. Come on, one second. I'm gonna sort of work it. Work it! Hang on a second. You gotta make sure everything's nice and snug when you do this, because if not, um. Well, yeah, I just wanna make sure everything's nice and snug. Anyways, uh, let's see. Doesn't seem that even. Let me see what the problem is. Okay. Whew. Uh, I think I got it. Uh, you want you want to make sure Scorponok is like this. It's like completely below blackout. Um, his tail, like for for landing, you want to leave it like this. Although that would be pretty heavy on Scorponok. Um. So I want, for landing, I want to keep his tail like that, and then for flight, the way I keep it, is his tail like that. So, if it's like right there, I'm from a lead attack in helicopter mode, you can just spring that forward, like... <laughs> so, yep, and he's got, he's got more cannons. And Scorponok can actually travel with him. And the thing is, there's mini Scorponok, yay! Uh, now this is a cool thing. Um, the the spinning ro uh, rotor propeller thing gimmick and for blackout works for Scorponok too. When you press this thing, it'll make a really loud cranky sound. Watch. Sounds really loud, but this kind of crank. What happens is when you press it, um, the his pincers spin, the generator spins, and that's it. Just like when it rolls. Oh, this cage opened. Doesn't stay in very well, but see, you gotta press it pretty hard. At the same time, blackout propellers do spin. That's that's what the hexagon-shaped peg is whole is for. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, yep. Whew. That that was complicated. Well, since I had more time on this video. Yeah, that was tough. Um, I guess I can do their story. And you guys are like, what? You can do a story? Yep. When I have time, guys. When I have time. That's how I'm going to do it when I don't have time. Duh. Anyways. Okay, dokey, artichoke. I'm hungry. I gotta eat. Anyways. So, there's part three. Let me do... Their story, which is kind of long. Whoa, it's blurry. Alrighty. You know what that says? It says cheese. That's what it says. Bye bye. No, I'm just kidding. Um, what it says is. Roaring in. Bleh, roar, roaring in low over the. Lance. Okay, you know what? Roaring in low over the landscape, 
Blackout pours fire down upon any target that comes within range of his sensors. The only creature for which he displays something other than open contempt is, and is, is his companion, Scorponok. The frenzied, smaller robot serves its huge master more as a pet than a friend, hounding any enemies that attempt to flee and driving them towards the larger robot's blazing cannons. Together they are a relentless force of destruction. Bent on bathing the landscape in superhero plasma charges until the desert itself is a fused broken plain of lifeless grass. So, you guys do not want to mess with them. They are a deadly combo. And you can tell right here from my review, you don't want to mess with them. So, yeah, you guys want to be careful. Yep. So... Now, with that said, I guess that's it, guys. Um, now, if you didn't see part one or part two, um, just go check them out. And um, I guess that's it, guys. See you later. And please sub.